I never thought that my quiet suburban town would be the setting for a horror story, but here I am, standing outside my house on St. Patrick's Day, surrounded by a thick green fog. It started out as a normal day. I woke up to the sound of birds chirping and the sun shining through my window. I got dressed and went for a morning jog around the neighborhood. As I made my way back to my house, I noticed something strange in the distance. A green fog was slowly creeping its way through the streets, enveloping everything in its path. At first, I thought it was just some sort of strange weather phenomenon, but as the fog got closer, I could feel a chill run down my spine. The air around me suddenly felt heavy, and I could barely see a few feet in front of me. I quickly made my way back to my house, hoping to find some answers. But as I stepped inside, I could hear a strange noise coming from outside. It sounded like a mix between a growl and a hiss. I cautiously made my way to the window and peered through the fog. That's when I saw it, a creature unlike anything I had ever seen before. It had bright green skin and glowing red eyes, and it seemed to be searching for something. I watched in horror as it sniffed around the houses, getting closer and closer to mine. I quickly shut the curtains and locked all the doors, hoping that whatever it was, it wouldn't be able to get in. But as I sat in my dark and silent house, I couldn't shake off the feeling that I was being watched. The green fog had now completely surrounded my house, and I could hear the creature's growls getting louder and closer. I knew I had to come up with a plan, and fast. I remembered an old legend that my grandmother used to tell me. On St. Patrick's Day, the veil between our world and the spirit world was thin, and supernatural creatures could cross over. Could this be the reason for the green fog and the creature? I frantically searched for a way to protect myself from whatever was outside. And that's when I found it, a four-leaf clover that I had pressed in my journal years ago. According to the legend, it had the power to ward off evil spirits. I held onto it tightly as I waited for the creature to make its move. Hours went by and the creature's growls slowly faded away. The green fog began to dissipate and I could finally see the sun shining through my window again. I cautiously opened the door and stepped outside, my heart still racing from the ordeal. There was no sign of the creature or the green fog, and the town looked like it always did. Was it all just a hallucination? But then I saw it, a small patch of green fog still lingering in my backyard and a faint growl in the distance. As I stood there, trying to make sense of what had just happened, I couldn't help but wonder, was it all just a coincidence that this happened on St. Patrick's Day? Or was there something more sinister at play? I may never know the answer, but one thing is for sure. I will never look at St. Patrick's Day the same way again. And I will always keep a four-leaf clover with me, just in case the green fog and the creature decide to make a return.